My new telescope is finally here. I'm so excited because I've been waiting all day for this thing to come in and it's finally here. So it is still boxed up. I wanted to wait until the end of the day when I got work done and wanted to share this moment with all of you. So let's get right to it. All right, here it is. Here's the box. There's clouds. It never fails. Every time that we get a new telescope or a new piece of astro gear, it's when the weather decides not to cooperate. Well, a box within a box. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's uh, get the box out of the way here. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. This is a lot bigger than uh, I anticipated. This is reminiscent to when I bought my Celestron Nexstar 5SC in 2012. This is the first telescope in 11 years that I have purchased. Actually, I lie. That's the first Celestron telescope I've purchased in 11 years. I bought my William Optics Z61 in 2020, I believe. And here we go. Here we go. This is, uh, this is happening. I'm very excited. Let's uh, move the foam out of the way here. Let's get this cardboard moved out of the way as well. All right, here we go. Here it is, here it is. Wow, man, it's bigger. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Holy smokes. Okay, so this is it, y'all. This is the Celestron Edge HD 8 inch. This thing is a monster. Wow. I can only imagine how the 925s and the 11s are in size, but this is beefy, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Very well protected. And uh, just, you gotta get, move this out of the way. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah. Look at that beauty, man. Look at this. Woo. Boy, this is big. This is a big telescope. I underestimated how large this thing was gonna be. And it is somewhat heavy, but fortunately, my mount will support this. It has the, um, capability to do so. So now let's go ahead and mount it on and see how it looks mounted to the EQ6R Pro. Anyone who's into astronomy or astrophotography will tell you that it seems like every time you order new equipment and it comes in, the clouds come in with it. Because of that, we're not gonna get to do first light tonight with the Celestron Edge HD8, so we're gonna have to fast forward into the future. It's been three days since I bought the telescope. Three days of clouds, three days of waiting for the sky to clear so we could finally take the Celestron Edge HD8 for a test drive, and tonight, finally looks like it's gonna be the night we get to do that and tonight's target is gonna be our closest celestial neighbor the moon it's approaching the full phase for the month so it's gonna wash out everything else anyway that i would have liked to show you so the moon it is and let's see what it's gonna look like so let's head outside and set this thing up and wait for the sun to set All right, we got the Celestron set up, it's ready to rock. There's a few clouds coming in, but it's not nearly as bad as it's been the last three days. So I am confident that tonight is gonna to be the night we get to see the moon 
with the Celestron Edge HD8 for the first time and I am excited because I've been waiting this long so it's finally over. So what can I say? The views are amazing from this telescope. I'm eager to try it for astrophotography, but I still have a couple of other accessories that I need to have it completely set up for that. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the views of the moon because it's just looking great. It's just amazing getting this kind of view. And uh, there's just nothing else like it.